As India inches closer to the success of its moon mission, the Chandrayaan-3, let's try to understand what would India achieve from the moon mission. Times Network's Imran spoke to Dr. Sivam Pillai, who is uh, considered as the father of Brahmos missile program regarding the objective behind Chandrayaan-3 and how it will help India. He is the former director DRTO and ISRO on Chandrayaan, uh, Gaganyaan and on other programs of the ISRO. Listen in. Sir, Chandrayaan-3 is a very important mission. Uh, give us what is the objective of the Chandrayaan mission and what is uh, where, what stage is it right now? So now we are very close to the moon, you know. Uh, we are now, we have de-orbited the um, uh, lander and we are very close and 23rd uh, August we are going to land, surely. And it will be a good uh, landing and then we will start the experiments. So through the rover we are trying to find out the uh, one is the mineral analysis. What are the minerals available? What are the metal parts available? This one analysis. Second thing is the uh, surface. What type of uh, surface it has got? Uh, what are the um, uh, effects of the surface? The undulations and uh, not only that, that the gravitation, all the measurements of the um, land that will also be studied by the rover. So we have got number of instruments, four instruments in the both lander and uh, rover together. And also the orbiting, um, the propulsion module, that also is doing a lot of measurements. So we would like to know what is that actually the moon is. That is the thing. So why we should know the moon is, it has got very exotic uh, minerals. One of the minerals identified with the moon, which is not available on the earth, is helium-3. Helium-3 is a very, very rare material, which is an energy source. And this energy source, non-radioactive, but 100 times better than uranium, but amenable for fusion technology. Yeah. What we do today is uh, called fission. Yeah. We split the uranium. Yeah. In the uh, future, we need uh, fusion technology. So we have launched a big program with uh, other nations together called ITER. Yeah, International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor. 500, 500 megawatt reactor is being built in France with our assistance. We gave them structure, vacuum missiles and all given by us. That uh, technology is going to be available 2025 to 2030. So once you master the fusion technology and once you have the helium-3 mined from the moon and brought here, you get the energy, very big energy you get. That is the idea of the moon. So the landing will also increase our capability in, the inter in terms of elite nations. Three countries have done, yes. fourth. Yes. Will you think that this landing will help in further, uh, you know, India can also colonize it, moon, some part of moon sometime? It is not the colonization. It is doing experiment. Laboratory, we can set up the laboratory. We can identify the minerals better. We can do a lot of experiments we can do. So this, uh, this process will continue till our, our people, uh, Indians, land on the moon.